Hello, internet humans. I need to do more game development or just programming projects in general that are for myself. And January and February, I was pretty good about doing a little bit of game development every week, like usually on Thursdays. Um, but then in March, during around midterms and stuff, that fell off with just being busy from work and really not making that time for myself. So my plan right now is Thursday mornings or whenever I wake up on Thursdays to maybe record one of these. Maybe stream. Um, maybe if it's something that I need kind of more brainstorming ideas with other people. Uh, but I figured for today, since I'm going to try to work on the, my playdate thing that I'm not done with yet, um, that I will record and then like pause while I'm actually focusing so that uh, it's just a video of like the main parts and I can explain some of the code maybe or the design, but then like I can also focus and not worry about being entertaining. So, um, yes, behind me is my plants. You can't see them because the sun is up and they are hopefully enjoying the sun. And, um, what else? I don't know. I have a list of ideas of projects. It's not in this room because <laughs> everything's a mess and I keep moving shit everywhere. But I have a list of ideas of projects and programming stuff and continuing on with like console-based text adventures and stuff like that. But right now the priority is working on um, my Playdate game pack. So I'll just go ahead and build and run and show what I have. I know I've uploaded shorts about it. So it has some music in the background. Um, uh, there's always a new SDK. I always have to keep updating. <laughs> well, maybe later, maybe at, right at the end or something. When I'm, okay. So the ghosts came here. This is the last thing I was working on. So uh, I can defend. Okay, yeah. I'll just well, not defend for a minute. So ghosts move around the office building and they'll have a request and you have to defend against the request. And over here I have health. So I might need to adjust this more. 10 HP is or energy is not that much. But um well it crashed when I ran out of health. So that's that's the penalty. If you die, you, the game crashes. Um anyway here let me run that again okay so the ghosts move around as we go um you can see the locations the happy faces are quests or people uh rather the exclamation part point is a quest so over here could you deliver this sure working hard oh no there's a ghost i need to defend against the request you can see we need to follow up and i def hey i have a request Let's get lunch together. And then I have to attack. But I have to defend against the, <laughs> the requests. Um, now I need to make the gameplay a little bit different so that you just aren't sitting there with defense on because that just makes it really easy. Or, you know, maybe it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's just a minigame. Oh no! The ghost spawned in and then took some help off me. Hey, I have a request. Let's get lunch together. No. Attack it. No. Oh, oh no. There's a bug. The ghost did not. Oh, maybe I spawned another ghost. Get out of here, ghosts. Go away. Go away. Go away. No. <laughs> it's a bug. Because I wrote it so that you can't escape when there's a ghost around. So we'll have to kind of adjust the gameplay. Uh, and double check why the ghost is not dying and his health bar is maybe it sets it is it equal to zero and I need to do a less than equal to zero. Anyway, if these ghosts would go away, I could talk to this guy <laughs> who I'm supposed to deliver. Oh, I already delivered it too, but I can't go anywhere at the moment. So at the mo I I need to fix some bugs. And I also need to just figure out um how to make this kind of a complete game with a start and an ending and we'll just like let the ghost murder me so my energy is at 10 
we'll look at the error message here. So shadow is not indexed. Let's go into source. This is under uh, packages. So I have all the specific games in here. Now this, since this is replacing an old game, it's under Skelly, even though that's not the name of the program, but I just didn't rename anything. And you can see that sort of thing in a lot of this code base. I should also go grab my playdate so I can actually test on hardware because I need to see if it runs okay. Because some of the games I have to like um, optimize uh, for the playdate hardware. All right, so I grabbed my playdate. It's low on battery at the moment because I keep forgetting to just leave it on a charger. So we're going to plug it into my backup battery, <laughs> which I carry around because my phone battery does not last long. So so let's see. I eventually need to adjust my background here on OBS. I'm going with the Windows XP theme. I feel like uh, Windows, old Windows nostalgia is starting to get like oversaturated. So I need to go, I don't know, set it to Vic 20 mode or something. I don't know. Does that work? The cyan might not be very good. Here, where's my, where's my emulator? Uh, shoot, I'm going to have to poke something. I don't remember the color codes. Wait, no, that wasn't it. Wait, what's the, what's the poke for the screen? We could go with Commodore 64, even though I don't own a Commodore 64, but it tends to be the one that people are more nostalgic about. I would like to get one eventually, but uh, I don't have fuck you money right now. <laughs> is that better? <laughs> now the border here is just way too thick, but side note, in May... I'm going to go have a screening for ADHD. <laughs> so here, we'll just put my little picture there. Does that look cool? Am I cool now? Um, anyway, back to the game development. What am I doing? I don't know. Okay, we were going to fix this bug. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and increase the font size so it is easier to see. I don't know what that accent was. Um. I've only had breakfast and coffee, so maybe I have energy and I feel a little silly. Also, I just love game programming, and I'm mad that I don't give myself more time to do game programming. Okay. So. This is the game. It's still called Skelly Game Screen, but that's not what it is. Um... Line 597. Actually, how do I... We'll just... I have my Emacs cheat sheet, but I don't think I have... Um, Emacs go to line. I know a lot of the keyboard shortcuts, I promise. I just don't know. I don't know if all of them, so I have to remember. What? Okay, go to line. That's kind of a weird, okay, interesting. We are going to line 597. Down here, shadow draw. Okay, so I, I just, when there's a game over screen, I show a shadow and a text box. So I probably haven't imported those yet. So let me just grab that from another game. Um, what has a game over? We have we have lasers. Oh, white space cleanup time. I feel like Emacs is going to run slower because I have OPS running. Okay, so we need our shadow and our text box. I'm just going to throw those in the images. That should at least do the game over properly, hopefully. We can build and run again. Now I just purposely don't show. I'll fix it later. <laughs> okay. Now we just have to die. I need to update the 
damage maybe. So again, the main challenge right now is figuring out a win state and an end the game over state. Or you could just keep going forever until you die. Um, that's how I Hate Skeletons originally was. But I feel like that doesn't make it a very good game. You just can't complete it. You just keep playing until the end, until you die. Um, I also don't want to implement multiple levels just because this is a mini game to replace a mini game in my mini game pack. And I want to start working on a new thing. So I've just been trying to get this done and I've spent <laughs> the first quarter of 2024 plus this month get you writing on okay 606 now i know it's alt g and then g if oh in game screen oh yep over here so we don't need this right here oh yeah this is also from shit <laughs> Keep changing languages I don't remember ever <laughs> what's the common sign um let's just replace this and say something like you pass out from overwork I don't know I can fix it later we can adjust the lore later on sad face okay well again that's not really the important part I can test game overs on my own oh it wasn't updating because I have a build error <laughs> why do I have one equals zero what's going on <laughs> Okay, this time it <laughs> it did not crash. I'm also still being attacked. I can hear the sound of being attacked and you can see my energy going down. So we just need to tell things to not happen if we're doing a game over. So self phases play, self phases game over. So that's what we're going to have to remember. Um, I have to remember where well, my drawing stuff is okay somewhere it's, it's kind of ugly I just with this game pack sort of thing I um keep everything for one game in one file which is you know nice for making a game in like a month um why do I I don't want to check my work email. Don't make me. Oh, okay. The cloud recordings. Yeah, Zoom cloud recordings. Whatever. So, drawing the play. Actually, we probably don't want that. We want probably want to go to where it's calling. Draw play. So it should just be displaying game over. Oh, but it's mm, still drawing the... Okay, that needs to go in here. <laughs> um, and that also would go in here. So, I don't know. See that? Um, and technically... Okay, yeah, that <laughs> takes us back to the main menu. So, that should be okay. So, let's see if this displays properly when we die. I know you can't see it because my, my face is in the way. Move this over here. Okay, so then I just... I can clean this up later. Again, okay, and also the character is still attacking me. <laughs> Let me just uh, double check where the game update is. But otherwise, the main thing is going to be... What's the end state? Okay, so... End state. We could just say deliver mail for all of the... Um, what is it? 
through four total co-worker types. Deliver four pieces of mail to win or die to lose. I mean, that would make it really kind of overly easy. It'd still be kind of funny just because you have, um, you know, it's office themed. And that's funny to me. <laughs> um, I mean, I will say with my games, like some of them are easy enough that kids can enjoy. Like, you know, High Five King is not hard. <laughs> you just have to raise the crank at a certain time. So, and really, it, it's this Playdate game pack is kind of like a tech demo for different crank game ideas. So, like, we have lasers is hard for small kids. Um, you know, I have my friend's kids test out my games and stuff. So, like, a two-year-old, a two-year-old could play Appreciation or uh, Toilet Paper Cat. Um, older kids, you know, eight years old could play these other ones. Uh, so it's not necessarily terrible if it's easy. Oh, great. Okay, I have to fix that too. Um, just crashed. <laughs> but maybe, maybe I do make it as simple as that. Maybe I make that the end state and then I'm just done making this game and then I can move on to the next thing because I've been wanting, I have ideas for other things to do. I keep hitting the wrong button. I have ideas for stuff I want to work on. Ooh. And I've been like, I'm gonna finish this. And I thought I could finish it in March, and I just never did any game development. So, um, maybe that's it. Maybe just deliver four letters. That's the end of the game. You know, it doesn't have multiple levels because I don't, you know, want to implement a bunch of different levels and figure out doing art. I've already done a lot of work on this little game. And I like it. Um, but maybe it doesn't need to be that complicated. <laughs> now let me fix this bug. <laughs> I have no offset. Why do I... Oh, because I guess the game... Is this a global variable? What is this? Where do I set up offset? I have X offset. Okay, this isn't helping. Um, I mean, it's part of the view, X offset. So we're going into the draw state. Init should have happened. Hopefully setup should have happened first, considering how I have the um, state manager set up. Is this the view, self view? Maybe I'll just I'll throw this in the init so it just exists at the start. Well, actually, was it was it there in the init already? I don't know. What? we am got to fix things. <laughs> The problem with having not worked on this for a while is that now I don't remember necessarily where everything is. Let's just put, I don't know, self.remaining deliveries is four. And we'll throw this in where we're initializing everything. So if we have done all of the deliveries, we're going to set the, what was it, self.state? I just need to open this up like that so I can view multiple parts of it. Let's go to draw, self phase. Sometimes I use the dot operator, sometimes I use the subscript operator. I don't know why I do things. Who is messaging me? Oh, just talking about. It's not a not really big. I'm not really close to my extended family, but La Grandma is in hospice. Um, okay. Self phase win. 
I know when we create a quest, it just randomly chooses a character. So maybe I should just create a list. Okay, so we have character one. That's the amount of total characters. And ugh, where is everything? I tried to find out how to collapse this stuff in Emacs. But I'm not. It doesn't seem to be working. Oops. That was the wrong button. Nope. Control C. At sign. Control T. Oh, hey, <laughs> it worked this time. I was trying to collapse a, cert a single thing and it wasn't working. Okay. It's like having to play the piano to do. Control C, Shift 2 for at sign, then back to Control and whatever I want here. <laughs> so, uh, okay, with our remaining deliveries, let's just change this to um, delivery, deliver from list. Wait, is that? No, that's not how you make an array. <laughs> uh, we'll just do that. So then when this is, when the size of this is zero, that's when the game ends. So then I can come back down to uh, finish quest, control C, shift two, uh, toggle hiding, control E. Okay. So we'll change this to if the size of that is zero, then we win. And then I just need to populate it when we create our co-workers which is in generate maze i think did i do that wrong control e there we go so we create our rooms we create those set up okay so there's a set up co-workers function Um, characters, characters. So I just need to kind of insert these the same time I'm inserting the characters, I guess, or I just copy it over afterwards. So copy coworkers to the deliver from list to keep track of who has had their mail delivered. Or how do you write a for loop in Lua? Is it key value in pairs self dot characters? Mm-hmm. It's good. I love um <laughs> when the program freezes for a moment. So uh, blah. Nope, it's table dot insert blah self dot characters dot main oh wait no this is value so i'll change this to here right. so i think that would give us the names of each one unless i want an index do i want an index maybe i'll just take the key maybe that will be nicer i don't know then i can run in and, like investigate the playdate dump and see if that looks fine. So we're gonna pause and then look at memory. Take it up too much memory. This is why my future um, game packs, if I make like a puzzle game pack or something, I'm not gonna have nine games or however many games I have here. Because I feel like it's just too much. Too much. Um, I've optimized it a little bit. <laughs> but I don't really know how to optimize it fully. Anyway, we're looking for our Skelly game state. Wait, why is it not expanding? Why are you a, <laughs> a star? Are you a pointer? You have 925 items. Let me in. Why can't I see these? <laughs> 
I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, you know, I'm about to go to sleep. <laughs> Could use my handy dandy. Where is it? Utilities. And just do debug table. Deliver from list. Self.deliver from list. I'm going to start it at zero because I'm going to do the recursions. And then if I build and run, it'll show me in the text output. So I'm going to do that. Pause. And here's my deliver from list. So why do I have one, two, three, four, twice? Wait, huh? Does it run this twice? Why does it run it twice? <laughs> I am calling setup coworkers twice, <laughs> calling it here, then generate quest, and then generate quest calls it. So we're gonna run it all, so it's not doing it twice. Um, then it should be fine. Man, I feel like right when I first woke up, I felt energetic and now I just feel sleepy. <laughs> no, pause the game. Okay, that's fine. So then, um, now when we finish delivering a thingy, we need to remove it. Remove the from key. Um, Begin quest, character begin quest, game data, begin quest character. Okay. So, actually, what we want to do is up here remove that key from here. Now technically they're all in the same order. <laughs> um, do I just say self dot um, deliver from list begin character because technically the indexes of the key and the value both match so it really doesn't matter that much. Do we just say that to make it smaller again? <laughs> uh, Where's my debug? So I'll just output the debug here. So I might need to like, since I think these guys are kind of bugged, I either need to fix this bug so I can actually test the game <laughs> uh, or disable them so I can test this specific thing. But we'll just go ahead and try to figure out where this is at. So control C at control. Nope. I wanted you to collapse it. How about hide control D? No. <laughs> hide. Toggle hiding. Hide block. HS hide block? What's the difference between H and D? Why is it not collapsing now? <laughs> I had to collapse everything. Okay, so the fighting we got hurt enemy at E. Hurt timer, take damage. Okay. Defend. Maybe this is just an update. Play in, defending, get hurt, enemy get hurt. I do have enemy health less than great equal to zero. And then I have put it in the keys for enemy key and remove keys. Remove that enemy. Okay. Guess I'll have to do more debug outputs. OBS, why are you taking wait, why is Zoom taking stuff? Get out of here, Zoom. I'm not working right now. And then Firefox, the other culprit. <laughs> okay, dang it. 
Okay, I have added debug outputs. <laughs> so we'll just see if we can trace why my enemies are not dying as they should be. Let's chase down this ghost. Okay. I'm just gonna keep hitting you. Okay, so let's look at this. Um, enemy health is negative 50. Remove key is 2, but remove enemy is 1. Maybe I need to do key, enemy key. Maybe it's getting the index. Maybe that's what's going on. Let's try that again. Maybe they will die. <laughs> it was actually just killing a different ghost somewhere in the level. Okay. Come here, ghost. I'm going to murder you. Will you die? This you are dead. Okay. Now I can. Near. Yeah, I have to kill this ghost too. I feel like everything is running slow. <laughs> I might need to close OBS for a minute just to. Regain some RAM. Okay, but now... You can get rid of these debug outputs. <laughs> get rid of that, get rid of that. Get rid of the debug table. Why is all my RAM being taken up? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna probably splice these together then. Stop recording and do a restart. Okay, I have started recording again. The thing that sucks about this is I'm going to have to throw it in a video editor and just wait for it to combine two videos together. But we have memory now until OBS eats everything. So we'll just... Uh... Um, okay. So... Fixed enemy death bug. Now I wanted to test to see if the list of uh, if the deliver works. And then my mail just opened up. Oh uh, no, go away. Bye, Thunderbird. Don't need you right now. Everything else? Good. Okay. Build and run. Got the game. Let's get a quest going. Try to not run into any ghosties. Where are you? Deliver this? Yes. We're gonna go deliver. Down here. Oops. Have something? Yes. And it crashed. <laughs> uh, okay. It looks like I maybe didn't put self dot remaining deliveries. So we're gonna. That was the wrong button. It's Alt G. Um, nope, self dot remaining deliveries. Oh, ugh, okay. Technically, I removed it elsewhere, so I'm gonna just redo this again. <sighs> Adding bugs to my games for fun. Okay, get out of here, ghosty. Need to grab a delivery. Thank you. Gotta take it to marketing vamp. Where are you? There you are. Okay, so we'll pause that. Now we just have three things, so that is good. I don't have win state implemented, so I'll go ahead and figure out what we're doing there. Um, I am going to... oops. I'm hitting the wrong button. <laughs> Control C and then hide all is T. Control T. Okay. So usually under the update is where I keep the branching. Where the? There's update. Control and then show. Nope. I hit. Not control E. Okay. 
So phase is play or phase is game over. Else if phase is win. And then we have to make a windscreen, which technically hmm, most of the games like they don't have a windscreen on their own. They have like these are just kind of generic sized. Gosh, where do I have this code? Um, because I have the title screen, and then so that is just one screen, but it just loads in a different image based on which game we're in. So for instance, the game data has the actual like win and image, I believe. Well, let's see. Cursor help. I thought. I don't know. I need to look through this some more. Um, also, I'll just look at a different package to see the win state. Like when you get to the end of we have lasers. So we'll do the collapse everything. Done with level. That might have it. That was the wrong button. Save the score, unlock next level. No. Um, okay, so there's probably the level end, and then when you hit A, it should go to the next thing of being. Gameplay. Well, no, I have to look for it. So I have a state called the credit screen. Oh, it's like literally right here. Oh, white space cleanup. Um. Okay, I just need to figure out thing. Wait, no, this is just the main credit screen. I think not the. Oh, where's the end game state? I don't remember. <laughs> I guess I've literally just been drawing a win image once the game is over. <laughs> so, game state level end, game end. Okay, I just, instead of win, I just have it as game end on this game. So, we have an update. Uh, where is stuff? Oh, yeah, updates up here. So this is going to be the same. And we can also say or self phase is win. Then pressing A will go back to the main menu. And I just need like a win image. If it's game over. Else. Um, else if self phase is win, then we'll, we can just draw, you win. I can just make a little draw thing for that, I guess. I feel like everything's slowing down again. Uh, win screen. Yeah, I'm not consistent at all with this stuff. If it was like a bigger project that I was maintaining for a long period of time, I would do a little better. And also now that I've written this one, I have more of an idea of how I would do it. So over here, we do self, draw, win screen, and then I just need a win image. So then what is the win state? What do you get when you win the game? I'll go ahead and close some of these buffers. Um, keep that. So, 
open up our init. I don't know. We need to open up GIMP now, though. Let's figure out what we're doing. What is the story? I need to write, like, the little helpy text as well. So, for instance, like with... We have lasers. I have, like, a little drawing here. And it's just, it's just an image at the end. So, with... I need to draw a title screen as well. Okay, let me grab my um, drawing tablet. Why am I so sleepy? <laughs> it's like the slower my computer is, the sleepier I get. <laughs> it's kind of like how when your phone is low on battery, so you just feel low on battery also. <sighs> oh, so I think what I need to do... And of course, update the main menu title. But I need to update this to have a different cursor, different image. I need to update the help screen text. I need to fix the crash. I already looked at why this was. It's still crashing. Cool. Okay. <laughs> uh, fix crash from title screen to game state i don't know if you copy paste that but i might take a break for a little bit or maybe i'll save this for next week maybe this is my capacity how long have i been recording just like an hour maybe i'll do some more later i do not know i think i'm just gonna go back to sleep because i mean i have work stuff to do um that i need to get done either like today or tomorrow or um over the weekend i need to finish my updated presentation slides about classes and inheritance and get the documentation for the lab ready to go it is a nice day outside maybe maybe i'm tired because i don't have the windows open i usually have the windows open so, I don't know. I think I'll just stop for now, I, I, and then I'll work on this art part a little bit later. It's enjoying the outdoors time! Enjoy the outdoors. I drew a random assortment of plants. Various plants. Beans grow so easily. If you want to grow stuff, grow some like dried pinto beans is what these guys are. Uh, I think that one's a pinto bean. That one's tomato. I think this one's tomato. Yeah, but, like, the beans pretty much will grow no matter what. Like, this guy I forgot inside of a paper towel with a bunch of other beans uh, that I was trying to get to germinate, and they were <laughs> sprouting in there. So I was like, um, well, here's a new environment. Good luck. I'm not going to, like, kill you, but try your best. I'll give you an environment. <laughs> trying to do some uh, other things, trying to get some ginger to grow. That's, I think this is a pea plant, but I didn't label it, but it's been growing pretty good. So I just, maybe I'll have a trellis and a tiny pea plant just over here. And I have some more various things I'm trying to grow. I stole some dried spices from my husband's spice cabinet. So we got dried chickpeas, mustard seed, and moong, which I think is a type of lentil. Oh, and coriander, so we'll see if his dried coriander grows at all. It's no, no look so far. Boop, 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 boop. Plants. Oh yeah, I have these up here too. So these are also pinto beans. I think I just had a bunch of pinto beans. Um, and then I have other things I'm waiting to sprout. We got some little sprouty sprouts, some cauliflower, 
Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just experimenting, kind of like the way I do my programming. I just like to start from scratch and try different things, try growing things in little baggies. So we got some sprouts in there. Try sprouting stuff inside of bottles or plastic cups. And then, you know, see what works good. Come up with a, my own technique, I guess. Okay, it has only been about 30 minutes. I went outside, enjoyed air, refilled my water. Maybe the coffee was making me sleepy, so maybe I'll just drink the water. Oh, wait. And then I have my windows open. <clears throat> so maybe that'll help the air quality in the house. And I am going to get back to doing the art, I guess. Um, so, let's just open up the game for some inspiration. Oh, I'm in the wrong folder. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Okay, so I want to go look at a person and look at them for inspiration. It is hump day, my dudes. Um, okay. There's Gimp. Let me just grab some of the art for this game as well. So we have... Oh, that's the wrong one. Our various characters somewhere. This is the backgrounds for the game, so I have multiple backgrounds. Where are my characters? Here. Alright, so, backgrounds, this is, I don't know if you can tell, the bathroom. I also really like this color palette because it reminds me of, like, 1990s educational video games. They just... They used a lot of magenta, but they also just had a low color rate, so bathroom, conference room, cubicles, and of course the good old dithering to like add shading back when we had fewer colors back in the day. Um, actually, let me see if I can f think of... Um, Troggle Trouble Math is a game that I think about a lot. I didn't play it a lot when I was a kid. But I thought it was really cool looking, so exactly like this, just straight ass green, hashtag zero, zero, F, F, zero, zero. Not quite, it looks a little off, but, and then like purple houses and yellow and using magenta with green, like, it just feels 90s. <laughs> so, um... As far as the characters, we have our ghost that we want to avoid extra responsibilities from. We have the male imp, or the coder imp, sorry. We're the male goblin or something. Marketing vampire, HR gorgon, business overlord. So, we need a title screen. There's Finn and Kit. I was gonna do some other ones. I didn't make potions for less. I think it was just going to be like uh, making potions in a big pot and mixing them up or something. Uh, sentient ball I did not make. That was going to be based on one of those um, kind of cheapo games like the handhelds that you get online for really cheap but not the ones that have like a bunch of emulated games. The one that has like a bunch of original games, but they're not very good, but th also they're kind of charming anyway. I think I... I don't know how long ago I did a video about it. No, stop making noise. Off. It is... I think it... This one right here. So, like... I don't know if I recorded the ball game in here, but there's a lot of cute cute little dumb games. I think I have this handheld downstairs. Anyway, why is this taking so long to load? Why is everything poopy today? I don't know. The weather's not. The weather's good. I'll just leave this over here. 
um crank crank car i was thinking of like maybe i don't know drag racing with little crank cars or something okay also eh. okay we might not look at this video let's do some 480p um hot marsh was <laughs> marshmallow roaster Appreciation I did, Motor Horse, Don't Touch My Pizza, I did not do, We Have Lasers, High Five King, Dino on Ice. That was going to be like you use the crank to adjust your, you know, angle while ice skating. Woodshop Newbie, I was going to have you like, um, make the saw go down to cut pieces and make it like kind of a rhythm game. Which, you know, these are just things I could still do later on if I do another game pack that's like kind of crank based games but for now we need to make a oh yeah <laughs> for the fin and kit art I just grabbed old assets from the old version of the game but we need a title screen for layer mail so we start with our sketch layer and I think that I might grab just pictures of the characters for reference um, and maybe just have them on the title screen so I don't I didn't really draw you as a character but I guess we don't have to have you as a character so do some sketches do a title like Layer mail. Also, I've learned to make fonts since last time I did game development. Um, I think the Playdate uses like pixel fonts, but I've learned to make rich fonts. Uh, okay. Thanks. Um, so, did I say rich fonts? I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Vector fonts. So that's one of my fonts, which I could use, but um, usually I just do my title screens like hand drawn. So layer mail, and then you know all of your coworkers always seem so excited to be there for some reason. So I know this is like really weird looking. <laughs> They'll be like, "Hey, yay! We're all happy to be at the office. You're the only one." Well. Uh, Coder Imp is also not happy to be at the office. Everyone else acts like they're happy to be at the office. Um, I feel like I need to have space for the boss in the middle because the boss needs to be the center of attention. Also, the boss is the shortest one. <laughs> Besides the male, the coder guy. Hmm... I feel like if this was like a company picture, oof, let's look up like stock images. So corporate stock images, Pexel. I don't know why I have Catbox on. I don't, it doesn't need to be free stock art. I just need to look for some inspiration. So like, okay, low angle. I'm not really good at drawing various angles, but we got people looking really professional <laughs> looking happy to be at the office collaborating in synergy they're sitting on the steps thinking man this guy's like a corporate dude he's like a, one of the um chief level people corporate team all the hands in yeah we are a family <laughs> everyone's happy we love working at the office here actually this is a really good one i know it's from a different site but again i'm just using it for inspiration we're a team we're getting things to oh no the uh <laughs> shareholder reports it's negative i don't know what how <laughs> business works 
but we, we're going to have to lay off everyone so we can keep our corporate profits. Actually, I don't care that much. Maybe, this guy just lost his job. These guys are gossiping. The boss is fine. The boss is like, this is a good time. We're going to just lay off people because it's fun. Um, everyone getting their hand. I don't, I don't want to touch my coworkers' hands. <laughs> I don't, do not make me do a team hand in thing. That's so weird. Uh, this guy is sitting in front of a big paint swatch so they can choose what kind of boring ass colors to paint their office with. Do, 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 do. They're <laughs> conferencing on a laptop so they're all having to fit into the webcam and scrunch in. Doing some sort of team building exercises, you know, mandatory fun. Got a coffee there, nondescript coffee, explaining stuff. We got the lanyard. We're going to lunch, keeping the lanyard on. So everyone knows we're a corporate dude. Um, yeah, okay. So <laughs> I'm going to use, it could be, I just need it like a little bit more excessive, right? Oh, there's so many more. Oh, we could have the CEO in front, so it looks like he's taller. And then, oh, here's the, the corporate, yeah. <laughs> With the thumbs up, oh my god. Like the boss is up here and everyone else is in the back. Why do they always do the arm fold? It's like, I don't know what to do with my arms, but I'm a professional. Oh my gosh, the coordinated looking to the side. This is the company Christmas album <laughs> art. Okay, so I think... No, we're gonna go with, like, Boss Man. Now, I do have to take into account the um, menu screen. Oops. Is going to have... A play button on the edge so I need to make sure that we leave space so we can see all of their beautiful faces so we'll do the art for the characters first and then we will do the text as needed so again we're gonna have this area kind of blocked off ish around there maybe just make that. We can have a little bit of art behind it, but not a whole lot. Okay. Maybe I'll flip it and like we'll have the boss over here. So he's doing the, the American lean. Apparently Americans lean a lot. And doing the cross arms. And he's happy. He looks confident. You know, got the raised eyebrow. Actually, we need him folks like a little to the side. So he's like looking at the camera, but he's also facing his team a little bit. So you know that, you know, he's one of the dudes. He also got horns. <laughs> I'll do that later. So he's doing that. And then we got our people in the back. So we got, um, let's see. I could, I guess since they're further back, they're going to look a little shorter. But technically, you know, she's the tallest one. So we got Medusa Lady. Um, she's gonna stand there. Uh, let's see. We need a good professional lady pose. I could just do the arms. This one has one arm behind, one arm in front. Oh, the the holding your hands in front? That's the pose I do, because I don't <laughs> know what to do with my hands. Um, I feel like... Okay, we're gonna have the that lady. The vampire man's a little bit smaller. So, I don't know if they should be overlapping. Because usually they do, like, the overlap. I can draw them on different layers, too, and then kind of move them around. So, vampire guy. They're all pretty much gonna be standing straight at the camera. Staring straight at the camera. And our imp. Okay, so oh, I put them on the same layer. Well, this is just a sketch. Um, 
Would Medusa Lady, would she be a hands-in-front person, or would our imp be the hands-in-front person? Like, I'm touching my hands in front of my body. I don't know. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, we got the shoulder lane? That's too much contact. Oh, we got the hand on the hip thing? That seems more like an HR move. Okay, so we got foldy arms... We got thinking pose. Uh, that would be like the UX person, but not the coder. Hands in pocket. Let's do that for the coder. So the hands in pocket, they're probably like, mm, they're just there. Uh, business vampire has a suit on. So he's like, I feel like I'm just one step below the chief level. Um, so I feel like they wouldn't have their arms in front of them because it needs to be a bigger, more confident pose. Now her, she could do like the, the hand thing and one arm down. Oh, she could, um, vampire guy could do the hand V <laughs> in front. That does make it look a little bit more like, oh, I'm very fancy. Let's see, number one business team. Uh, let's look up marketing, corporate marketing team. We want him standing up. Ah, uh, the talking to someone, but we're doing the corporate picture, not the candid shot, so could do the arms foldy, but boss is doing the arms foldy. I'm putting too much thought into this. Um, hmm. Would the marketing guy do the, the chin thinking one? Yeah. I don't think it'd be the number one pose, but I think that would be... So we're doing arm under... Um, one is, one arm's leaning over and the other one is just like straight L shape. So that could be our characters. We can go into the new layer. We'll do boss first. Boss is number one. Gotta do him first. Oh, not, that sounds weird. Um, we're gonna put the sketchy guys in a separate group so I can kind of make it transparent and then we'll also move the characters around as needed so are we doing that size what have I done for the other images these were all mostly thicker line drawings yeah yeah okay so La Boss is an older fellow he's probably like in his 50s or if he's in his 60s he's like still dyeing his hair so you think he's in his 50s um usually kind of like a very light blonde type of man <laughs> from my experience that's just what i think of uh we got our demon horns they act like we're a family but really they're very out of touch. They talk about their trip to Europe during the company meetings when they do like a little like TED talk sort of thing. Um, they're, they are losing their hair, but they try to just, you know, co comb it over a little bit. We'll just do like that maybe. And uh, let's see. I'll do a colored version of the drawing and then we'll kind of go from there. So kind of light colored. This one in particular is a demon, so he's red. I don't know. <laughs> we'll grab that color. We'll make this kind of like that. We'll see how it turns out in black and white, but... Oops. 
Yeah, he'll talk about how he didn't realize there were problems in other parts of the world until he went traveling abroad and, like, saw the actual poverty or whatever. <laughs> and he's like, I was surprised. I've never had to think about that before. Because, you know, his family is well-to-do anyway, so he's just never, literally never thought about it. Never hung out with the small people. But now that he is a corporate dude running a business because he had nothing else to do, and he, you know, wanted to have a startup and pretend like he's a fancy man. Um, oh, I got my, I'm grabbing video files for my phone. Then he has to now pretend to be friendly with um, what he considers pond scum. So let's see, we're gonna just make this kind of really dark black, golden demon eyes. So he's looking over here. Oh, that video transferred fast. Yes, received a file. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna do maybe a little bit more. Like long to make it a little bit more goat like, even though goats are you know herbivores, not predators. But there you okay. And then we need that corporate smile. The I've never had to struggle with anything in my life, I've never had money worries, I've always had the hundreds of thousands of dollars just in a bank account. I inherited a million dollars from my daddy, you know, that sort of thing. And then, you know, we got the wrinkles because, you know, he basically, now that he's older, he feels like he needs to accomplish something. So that's why he has his little startup where he can feel like he's an important corporate man, um, disrupting tech, doing, doing good things, being really cool, but no one actually likes him. Okay, so that's his head. So we'll do kind of... Um, let me see. He's gonna do a lean. We got the polo shirt, because he's a business casual at work, because he can be business casual. Uh, the rules for everyone else does not apply for him. It's gonna be like a white, or maybe for some reason a light pink. But usually gonna just we're gonna go with white here so i'll draw the arms separately um he's gonna tuck in his shirt into his belt because he feels like it needs to be casual but not too casual he still needs to show look like he's the boss grab our belt color he probably has like some fancy rich person belt from a brand we've never heard of that probably costs like $5,000 for this belt. Probably more, you know, because they do shit like that. Um, but only the other people, who, like the marketing guy might notice, because the marketing guy secretly wants a $100,000 belt. Um, here, we got a tiny butt. There we go. Uh, so the marketing guy maybe keeps up with luxury brands, but can't actually afford anything. Maybe the boss is going to... Um, buy a luxury brand for the marketing guy just you know be like because he can afford doing shit like that and like the marketing guy is gonna feel like loyal forever <laughs> okay we need a little bit of that some dots and then usually some kind of really dumb logo i realize now this looks like a homestuck logo i meant it for it to look like a skull which i guess also looks like a homestuck logo like one of the characters or whatever but Look, skulls aren't original. <laughs> there. Okay, so we got that part. We need a little bit more fold in here. Well, I don't know. So there's the basic outfit for corporate man. Um, we need some boss arms. So I'm not super good at arms, so we'll do sketch again. So for the arms, um, one of them will probably do like this. 
This one will go under. This one will have like the fingers on top. And then coming down like that. Something like that. Okay. So we got the... This is a short sleeve polo shirt because again he is um, trying to be business casual. It's going to have the little seam along the side. <clears throat> This polo shirt, also probably from a brand we've never heard of. It's not from Kohl's. This guy is not shopping at Kohl's for his polo shirts. Um, we'll get another sleeve here. And do that. Let's see. I don't know. I'm not, again, super great at arms, but this is a game on a small handheld. <laughs> so we'll pretend like no one will know. No one will notice how bad the tr the art is. Okay. And then the other arm, just kind of, well, that seems a little too offset. He needs to face more straight on, but I guess that's kind of okay. We'll just do that. Now I... There. I can get rid of my sketch. So, there he is. There's the big boss man. Um... Ba -ba -da -ba -da. We got HR Gorgon. Now, you know, your other co workers, they're not making bank. They're probably making less than the developer is, but they want to be very professional. Um, and they want to feel like their job matters, even though none of our jobs matter. Um, She's just there to make sure the company doesn't get sued, as is the role of every HR person. I don't hold it against them. We all gotta, you know, pay our fucking rent or mortgage. How are you gonna do it? I guess by having endless meetings with employees who can't get along, which includes me. Because, <laughs> you know, sometimes I encounter the good old sexism in the office. So we're having the HR Gorgon. Um, she got the, the cute snakes. We got some sneaky snakes. And she's going to do that. So her hair, we're going to have to figure out how to make this black and white properly. Because if I do... Like, let's say if I just flatten this and set it to black and white. This will show up like that, and you can tell, like, that's kind of hard to see. I mean, the hair's not too bad. <coughs> we'll adjust the colors afterwards. Let me drink some water. You can also drink some water if you would like. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So, why am I thinking of Medusa as green? Isn't she just a lady? I don't know. So, we'll do that. Again, this lady is cold in the office constantly, so she's wearing a long sweater. A business casual long sweater. Um... You know, in here I should have given her a statement necklace, because usually they are wearing statement necklaces of some kind. Um, she's going to do the arm on the side thing, so we'll do that afterwards. I'll just do the base of her body, and then we'll add the arms afterwards. Um, one time... An HR person told me that, you know, we have to get along. Maybe some of my coworkers voted for Trump, but, you know, you just gotta deal with it. <laughs> I was like, well, you know, but that doesn't excuse this person from being a shithead to me. But, you know. You know. Okay, so usually that's gonna be like an earthy color. Maybe a white, maybe more of a beige not quite that dark. It's going to be kind of a light tone. They got to go with the light tone so you're not intimidating anyone. 
Um, usually the shirt may be kind of an earthy red or blue. Um, pants, kind of dark color. I feel like this would be maybe, we'll go with that. And then the sweater is going to have its seams. Oops. Um... But basically, you just never want to go to HR, unless you just really need to try to get the system to work for you. Sometimes you just gotta do that, because what else are you gonna do? Um, so if there's something where you just are like, well, they need to make sure they don't get sued, so I need to report this, because I'm getting mad about stuff going on. Um, but yeah. Do -do -do -do. Do, 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 do. I can't talk a whole lot about HR. I've had to sign NDAs. <laughs> Not because I did anything, but because I knew things. Okay, that's probably too much information. So, we got our cute snakes. Gotta be very professional with the snakes. Gotta, you know, make sure they're not turning people to stone while in meetings, even as much as she would probably like to um, stonify some people. And we need the big hoopy earrings. This would probably be silver, I feel like. Just so they don't look too shiny, too fancy. Um, and because silver goes with a lot more. Though, no, we don't have any werewolves in the office, right? So that's fine. If we had a werewolf hire in this mail room, uh, we would need to get rid of the silver, I think. You know, for diversity. <laughs> okay. So we got nose. I might move that down a little bit. Uh, I might even make her face a little bit longer, but... She's gonna always be looking pretty good. You know, unlike me as <laughs> a developer, like I never I never wear makeup. I don't like makeup. But I'm also like non binary. Some programmer ladies are gonna wear makeup. I don't. I don't even want to be perceived. I've been seeing that as like a meme lately on the internet and it's true. I don't want people to see me. Like if you'll notice I didn't dress up for you all. I didn't even, I just, I kind of brushed my hair and put it in a hat. So, you know, this is my natural state is in a hoodie and sweatpants. And then hair is out of the way. This is the most me you could get. Um, I contemplated not doing the camera, but I also wanted to show my plants. So if there's a day where I just don't feel like camera ink, then we'll just not camera. It's also like I don't make my students be on camera because I feel like why? Okay, so we got that. Let's kind of even this out a little bit more. She needs some eyeshadow. I don't know anything about makeup. I just always assume eyeshadow is blue because that's like what my mom used to wear. <laughs> I need to do her other earring also. Um, I haven't really looked at my mom's section above her eyes in a while but I feel like this is red so like a reddish color would go better right not that you're gonna be able to see in the black and white okay so we got that we have our lipstick so in the black and white I just made it all kind of black so it is obvious that it's lipstick um now I'll just do a dark red, and then that'll probably convert to black. Okay, so there's our HR lady. We need arms. She's doing the pocket thing. Where, where is it? Because I need to reference. I'm not good at drawing weird hand poses. I thought I saved it. Where's the that the hand pocket or the hand not the pocket like the hand i can't see the entire arm i'll just start with the hand 
it's right above the waist it's like we're coming in with the wrist then we're coming back up and then we're going back down and we have one finger away from the rest of the fingers Ooh, okay wait we need okay this is the wrist then we got the palm and we got the fingers so we'll just do that and kind of add um stuff as needed so there's our sleeve and then that's probably going out this way how do you yeah i feel like to put your hand on your hip you need to put your elbow out pretty far but this just feels weird this feels like how am i drawing this we'll do this like this is that okay <laughs> and then add that in and over here is going to be like darker color and then grab the skin something like that ish uh, not really good enough good enough and then the <clears throat> other arm is just going to be like lazy this also feels like a pose that a lot of preteens did a lot when i was a preteen in the 2000s kind of like the sassy teenage girl pose and then the sassy teenage girl grows up to be hr because we got to get jobs to pay for shit okay okay oh and well the snake tongues are gonna be i want them to be white so they're they stand out but we'll see okay we'll leave the black and white vision version um as a surprise so we'll duplicate this this is gonna be marketing man marketing vampire Oop. grab all those it takes a long time to send videos over bluetooth <laughs> but that's what i'm doing to get some footage for this video okay the marketing vampire let's go ahead and we can move her over a little bit maybe hide the boss so i can have enough room to draw him so we need the confident chin man confident chin man so we'll just do the base first marketing guy doesn't really talk to people outside of marketing maybe hr because they're both kind of they're like the preps of the office world which you know i never went to high school but that's kind of the sense that i got so we got kind of chiseled features um they probably do a lot of exercising <laughs> unlike developers i mean some developers you know do the exercising i have worked places where developers actually have interests outside of computers and i've worked at places where not so much so there we go see you um i'm gonna make him like a light blue because he did black hair but also he's gonna like have it slicked back so it's gonna be shiny from whatever the stuff is he puts in his hair um oh i have him with like no nose like just a is he a zombie or is he a vampire what does a vampire look? vampires just have normal noses right <laughs> i mean i would think like a little pointy nose i don't know maybe he's a half zombie half vampire <laughs> maybe we'll make this dark maybe that's just like the bottom of his nose maybe his nose is a little upturned or something like that ish you know i don't know we can do some nostrils i don't know <laughs> um this guy used to go to so many parties in college and is really good at schmoozing i guess i don't know again like when i was at umkc we had one class where there wasn't room in the normal computer science building 
like engineering building so we had to take a class over in the business building so we were like shuffling around in hoodies and you know jeans and then everyone in the business building actually was like dressed nice I don't want to dress nice I never want to dress nice um yeah so then he's going to be looking back towards the CEO because again the CEO gave him like a hundred thousand dollar watch or some garbage um so he's loyal he he knows he can get some cool stuff and then he can show off to his friends and be like look at this freaking expensive watch that I got now me I don't wear anything expensive I have a fake wedding ring that I bought from I mean I have like a ring but I keep it at home but I have a fake ring that I wear that I bought for like five dollars because I will probably lose it at some point when I'm not wearing it I keep it on the little carabiner that I keep my keys on otherwise I'm never gonna find it I've been able to find it pretty well since keeping it with my keys okay so this guy he is hyped for another day of work also maybe he gets commission or something so that's why he's so happy you know if he's a top performer um he can get a lot of money but also he there's that competitive nature of i need to outperform my teammates this is a whole like kind of friendly but not so friendly competition oh wait this needs to be buttoned up because he's professional um he might wear a tie but maybe just in the office he doesn't so you know they rib each other the marketing team ribs each other over who's going to get the most sales of you know enterprise document management systems or something i don't know um and so that's kind of like their whole personality um one place i worked at a software place anytime they made a sale they had a gong that they would re they would just like hit the the marketing team would hit the gong so for a little while i was let's see they were on the first floor i think sometimes i would be on the first floor just for whatever i guess for snacks um and yeah okay so he probably gray or blue kind of a traditional color of suit oops you know he wants everyone to think he's very professional and knows exactly what he's doing so he's very traditional with the style um and then i don't know what do you just wear a darker color of pant or do you wear the same color <laughs> i don't know arms um so he's doing the thinky arms let's make him a little in invisible so one arm it's gonna be up here do like that and the I don't know arms are hard and then he's wearing a suit so it's gonna be like some sleeve from his undershirt here and then the rest of it um and so that's coming down it's going to be resting on his other arm and coming back up here and yeah that should be good and then the other arm is the table for his arm now i'm not drawing very good as far as consistency with the muscle sizes me you know it's like <laughs> i'm not i'm not paid for art <laughs> i mean i guess i'm paid in that sometimes people buy my games um i did my taxes for this year and i tried to calculate what i made versus what i spent on like computer equipment stuff uh so i made about three hundred dollars last year which is not a lot but it's more than you know with it's more than i've made most of my life on my games <laughs> like i have also worked on games for other people where i've been paid 
um, which generally is like a more reliable source of income. But, you know, it's cool. It's cool to get a little bit of money. I'm not quitting my day job. <laughs> but there we go. Um, okay, so he's his fingy is like that. That works, I think. He would he's also not wearing that wrist watch. How do you wear a wrist watch under a sleeve? I mean, I know I'm wearing a watch right now under a sleeve, but like when you're being professional, you want people to look at your fancy watch, right? So you just kinda hike up your sleeves a little bit and you're like aha mm -hmm. oh yeah it'd be on the the hand where he's thinking he wants you to see the fancy watch so um let's maybe we'll make it so <laughs> he only has one of his sleeves kind of hacked up because uh he's really wanting you to see the watch but I don't know what a fancy watch is going to look like. I guess I'm just going to make it white so it stands out from the rest whenever we black and white it. So, I don't know. Watch. Shape. And then over here. There. Uh, kind of. There's this fancy watch. Usually there's going to be like, I don't know, if it's metal, like slits down the side, but we're not getting that far into it. Also, I just don't know what a really expensive watch looks like. Um, okay, we got that. There he is. Perfect. Let's do our developer. So this guy not enthused to be back at the office not never enthused to be at the office um keeps meticulous track of the time tries to spend a little extra time on bathroom breaks just to make more time go by so that we can go home sooner does not smoke but wishes that there was more of an excuse to take like better breaks the only thing there is to do is really like go get coffee. I'll do this, maybe. Um, floppy, floppy ears. Doesn't want to talk to co workers. Doesn't like talking. <laughs> Just wants to get the job done and go home because, you know, you got other friends at home. You got your real friends out there. Work friends, I mean, where I'm currently at, I have work friends, but like corporate wise, I don't uh, generally do good with making friends. Um, or like I'd hang out with QA or the tech writer. <laughs> like, that's who I'd be friends with, not the other developers. Okay, so also this guy's required to wear business casual, so begrudgingly. Doesn't wear the nicest looking button ups, but wears them. Um, he's gonna be slouching. Slouchy boy. Kind of just whatever. This is a clearly tuck in shirt and not a um, one of the button ups where you can just wear it um, on top of the pants, but this is a tuck in shirt where it goes longer. So they haven't done that. They don't know how to fashion, which is me. Um, probably just like the ugliest colors of shirts. Because they just grabbed it from a thrift store. Because why, why fucking bother? They got one pair of khakis, which is also me. Um, I had more pants. But. Where are they? <laughs> and or... Why did they get ruined from stains? Like, I don't know. What did I spill on that one pair? It was like... Toothpaste? I don't know. But I can't wear that pair anymore because I feel self-conscious about it. And so I just have the one khakis. Um, You know what? We're not even going to put hands in pockets. They're just kind of resigned to whatever life has to give them. They're just... 
They go home on their commute. They feel sad. They feel trapped. They feel like there's no escape. They're just not having a great time. They're, they're angry. <laughs> okay, so we'll grab everybody back. We're gonna organize them. Now the imp can't really go there because that's where the buttons are and he's too short for buttons to be hidden behind the buttons. This guy can kind of go there. Um, HR will move over. Technically everyone else is supposed to be behind the boss. I don't really know how to make that effect look like it's so because I don't know how to draw. I mean, I guess you'd see more of their legs. I don't know. I'll just make the boss shorter. <laughs> um, so marketing, we'll scooch him over a little bit more. Empy Imp does not want to be here. Marketing's also a little bit shorter. Okay. Text for the game. Title. I wonder if all of my phone images got saved or videos. I don't think so. Well, I'm throwing it all in here. Did you stop sending or are you still sending? You're still sending. Okay. Layer mail. Where do I put the text? Um, I could do like a little envelopey boy. Like, I don't know. It could be behind. Maybe like layer mail. But then you can't see it over his head. I mean, I guess I could swap the imp and marketing as long as he's not under the button yeah and then this goes back here so i can erase this for now and we'll add the text on a different layer do we do boop this is an envelope it doesn't i know i put the address part on the wrong side in the game but how are you supposed to know the white rectangle is male unless you see the little foldy answer me that okay so we'll just do like a l a I gotta draw our serifs in because it's serious business. That looks weird. Um, layer. Uh, da da da. M. Let's copy this A. Copy this I. There's our L. Layer mail? Does that look okay? I mean, good enough. It's fine. Um, now, as far as a cursor, let me see. Do I have a. Cursor thing? Hard cursors. Here we go. So, what else is corporate besides coffee cup? Or, sir? I keep thinking like PowerPoint slides, cell phones, paperwork, maybe just a pencil or like a 
I would do a fancy pen, but it's easier to do a pencil. Um, so we'll just do like this. Paint it white and then kind of add our details. So the pencil, we got pencil lead. We're going to do a little uppy downy because pencils do that for some reason. Um, I'm going to round out that edge a little bit. And then we got our top part with the, you know, metal thing. We got our eraser. Um, and then technically it usually has bumpy lines. Chapstick should have bumpy lines so you don't lose your chapstick all the time. Okay, let me see. Where is this saved in our package? Is it just under images or is it under package? Cursor. Previews? Oh yeah, I need to grab a screenshot. Oh, that's the load cursor. I guess maybe it is just under packages. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, so we'll save this under... Um, that images. This is just cursor. Did I write something? Draw something before? Is it? It's probably just skull. Okay. Save and then title. We'll replace. We'll overwrite it. So let's check what this looks like. Um, I might make the background white or something, or just grab a image from the game. Let's see. We don't want it to be too busy. But we do want something. Like maybe just cubicles. So let's see what we can do. Um, okay. We'll flatten and check how this looks. That's not too bad, actually. That looks pretty visually legible, I guess. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and save that. Uh, ba -ba -ba, title. Okay, save. I'll save that version. Okay, so when I run this, we should at least get the new title and cursor. That should just be automatic because it's already coded in from last time. Game select. I need to change its name over here. So there we go. There's our team, our family. And they got a little pencil. Very cute. Okay. So up here, we need to change the name of the game. That might be in the game data itself. What we got? So I don't know if I can collapse this. And then if I uncollapse it, does it do the entire table? It does. Okay. So this will be Skelly. Game. Okay, I think it's under menu that will have the names then. White space cleanup. So, skeletons. I think I had that at the end because I did not like it. I hate skeletons. This is now named Layer Mail. Not Layer Fail. Layer, layer Mail. Title screen, Skelly. Okay, that should be good. I do need a new preview image, which we can do in a little bit. Now, as for the story, this isn't what we're doing anymore. So, let's see. You are the Mailer, let's do Mailer Demon. 
um, at a corporate office. I'm actually, I just watched What We Do in the Shadows, so that's kind of a stolen from that, but it's cool. Um, your job is to deliver messages between uh, employees across departments. Locate someone, um, let's say mini map shows exclamation point for someone who needs mail delivered. Deliver all the mail to finish your work day and go home. Oh, well, also, um, avoid. They're just like, um, co-worker ghosts. What's a good word for that? Ghostly co-workers. Synonym for coworker. A ghostly cohort. Ghost associate. Ghost associates. <laughs> Avoid ghost associates who only have more work to give you. I might have to shorten this because this is probably not going to fit in the helper text. Or I might have to adjust it. Um, let's just say deliver messages between employees across departments. Let's see if that fits. Minimap shows exclamation point for those who need mail. Need for new delivery. Um, deliver all mail to finish your work day and go home did we just get a package i don't think i ordered anything so maybe the neighbor did um let's see Layer mail. Okay, we still have more. Wait, did I not save the file? I probably have a build error actually if it's doing that. No? I mean, it shows that it's saved. It says Skelly. That's the wrong button. It shouldn't be doing that. Maybe this is... This is in the game data. Weird. Just build. Like, there was no errors. Anything is saved. Double check here. deliver. Is there any mention of skeletons in any of the files? I don't see any. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Um, what else?
Why is the data still that? I'm so confused. Oh, you know what? Okay. It's because it's like actually this is data saved in the save file. What if I just didn't store it in the save file? Because <laughs> uh, this is like when you s unlock a level, it's saved in this table. And really, this does not need to be stored here. Should I do a giant refactor? Maybe. I don't know. The issue is, it's not going to update for everyone unless I tell it to reset the game data. I have something in here to like tell it to reset the game data. But I don't want to like necessarily just nuke everyone's save games. Though I think I, I think when you just download it, I accidentally set everything as unlocked but just zero stars rather than having everything locked. So things would still be open. I just don't want to nuke people's high scores. You know. So that means I would need to either selectively reset parts of the data or just not store the data that doesn't need to be stored here in the save game file. Which is what I should do. But it ain't gonna be work. I guess I could literally keep this where it's loading the game data. And then down here, just as a test, I'm just gonna grab this stuff. Because technically this isn't saving anything at the moment for this game. Probably would want to load this earlier, actually. And we can say all of this is part of self dot game data blarble, though technically. This is used on a different state. This is used on the title screen. Well, wait a minute. Nope. This is used on the title screen, so I can't put it right here. Ugh. Um, maybe I'll split out the reset data so that there's the save game data. And then there's the um non-save game data so then it can just refresh the game assets that i need each time so for instance we would just say okay we're resetting self.data we got version is current version sound volume probably wouldn't want to reset that either like let's just say user data and game data so if we're resetting user data you can say self dot data sound volume is 100 self dot data music volume is 20 because i don't like the sound of the music <laughs> But then basically after we do that, we could say self reset game data, but then we ha like have the option to only reset some things. And so in the options screen, I think you can click the reset thing and I can c still have that run reset data, 
but then also I could just call reset game data each time and then it would just reload the most recent game data and not overwrite the save game data. So I think that's what I'll do because that'll be probably the most straightforward. So yeah, again, I'm going to have the reset data and then the game data is the level information basically and then the sorry the user data is that the game data is going to be like this this stuff so that'd be like self dot bat uh self dot data dot bass dot title bg equals such and such thing like this so we'll see Okay, let's see if we have any build errors. Build errors! I do! At line 73. I forgot to put commas? Oh, I must have accidentally just erased them. Okay, so we'll do build and run. See if anything crashes. Got the game select. Check this out. Damn it! Why? Oh, right. I'm not freaking calling the function. Okay. I guess we'll just do data manager reset game data. And while I'm at it, we'll just put the version thingy in here too. So, self.data.version is equal to current version. Call reset game data. I'm just going to put, um, what is, I don't remember if it's like print or whatever. Utilities. Print. Refreshing game data <laughs> okay there's the refreshing game data why <laughs> okay more investigation time I don't understand why everything, except what I'm specifically working on right now, is expandable. I mean, I could change one of these other ones and see if it works. A, B, C, D. Close the simulator. Let's see if that shows up in the data manager data. That's for bass. So it's right there. Okay, if I go to that menu, it shows up there. Okay, something's weird. Like, I don't think I changed the key, but I'll double check. The game key is Skelly. So then it's supposed to go to the help screen. Global game key. Debug log. Game key. Uh, Data manager data global dot game key. Let's see if that is what we expect it to be. Well, it's a table. Uh, I meant to just literally output this data instead. Uh, Close. 
wonder if this is related to why it's crashing when I start the game. Game key, Skelly. Game data dot help. So we grab the game data. Game data manager data. Skeleton. Skel Okay, let's remove my A, B, C, D. <laughs> All right. We're close to being done. Um, so across departments, that's too long. Deliver all mail. How can we kind of optimize this? Uh, da, 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 across departments, menu app shows blah. Deliver all mail to finish your work day and go home. That might be fine. Avoid them. Okay, let's go ahead and re rerun. I need to. I think I got rid of the debug log. Okay. So grabbing that. Help. Deliver all mail. Avoid ghost associates. Now I need to fix this one or no one's going to be able to play the game, which is, uh, what's what the keyboard shortcut I want? Grabbing the game screen. 636 still. Oops. Offset. Offset, offset, offset. Self dot view, self dot view offset. Maybe it's just not available right away. Maybe is it drawing before it does the setup properly? Which hasn't been an issue with the other. Oh gosh. The, that wasn't the plant, was it? I don't think so. That was just some lids, but there. Sorry, beans. Okay. Offset. View offset. I guess we just start by setting X offset to X offset. <laughs> I don't know, we'll do it this way. I don't self dot view dot x offset is x offset. Though maybe this is supposed to be referencing a different thing. Cause I know I had animated like damage movement. Maybe it's just not initialized. I don't know. Menu. What will I eat for lunch? I do not know. I'm still mad. Yeah? Okay. Probably that is nothing. I don't know why I said it to that. I don't know. Mess around. We're just gonna say x offset is zero to start with. I don't know how this got broken to begin with. I mean, it starts the game fine, and then you're playing the game. So I must be initializing it elsewhere, I guess. Ugh. Okay. Okay, I guess I fixed it. 
by just initializing it again from wherever I had it. I guess probably something with the call order of setup versus draw. I don't know. Um, let's get rid of debug table. Okay, so that loads. We need to do the end screen for when you win. So your win screen is, hey, you get to go home. Do I have a XCF file for win screens? It's just like a simple drawing. So something like that. But for this game. Burp. Win. Okay. So, for instance, other win screens. That's Bass Ball. You win, get out of here. Um, I'm free. Oh, wait, I still have to pay bills. It's time for us to part waves. I'll see you soon. There's not really an in screen for that one. Motor horse. I hope my efforts were enough. I hope Pepis got the intel. Pup. That doesn't really have an in state. Sue. Dude, what I'm thinking of is like a dude doing a Super Mario jump. Okay, so it's dark outside because, you know, you work until it's nighttime. We'll have a big office building back here. We'll do some grass. Well, actually, no. So, we'll do a hill and another hill and another hill. I don't know. And then that's the office building. So we got a door. And all of the windows. Corporate real estate. Okay, so there's the windows. The lights are still on because people are still working. Because, you know, you gotta... But our buddy is now out of work because they finished delivering the mail. So let's see. We'll do like maybe a reveal of what you look like. You're a male goblin. What does a goblin look like? I guess kind of like the imp. Nostrils. He, 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 they, whatever, is excited to get off the work. Get off work. So, um, I'm thinking like, you know, the Super Mario punchy, <laughs> punchy thing. The, the goblin does not need to be wearing gloves. Doop, doop. I'm free! I'm gonna go get tacos! That's usually what I do when I get off work. Um, what does male goblin wear? Well, they're done with work, so maybe they're just wearing a hoodie. We'll make them pretty short. Um, and that hand is really big compared to the rest of them. We'll do a little jumpy leg. One, two, three. Barefoot for some reason. I don't know. Goblins. Yeah, that doesn't look good. It doesn't look like he's actually jumping. Um, maybe like the AIM little man run. 
But yeah, well, it's a messenger dude. And then over here. No emails. Okay, I'm going to redo this hand. It's too big. And we'll redo the sleeve. can just do hand. Do -ba -do -ba -ba. So let me just make that invisible for now. I'll do an outline. So we're heading home from work. Blah, blah, blah. Oh. Color La Goblin. And oops. Come here. Put that back. Let me check to see if this email is important or not. Okay, I don't think that applies to me. <laughs> okay, so we're going to copy our bud and we're going to do that because we need a outline. So up down, left, right, like that, layer down, and like motion lines. Bah, bah, bah. So I make <laughs> noises, as you can tell, when I'm doing stuff. Um, But my friend has like a kid who's almost three now, and he'll like imitate me whenever I do stuff so what was I doing I was well we did we baked a cake but what else did I do maybe that's what I did I don't know just as an example like um we were pretending to bake a cake with like a thing so I would go like Ch -ch -ch. and so like when he was mixing it he would go Ch -ch -ch as well and it's really funny um and very cute then it makes you aware that you make noises. I just make sound effects for everything. Okay, I'm going to put, I'm getting tacos. Wait, do you put an E with taco? No, just like that. Okay. We'll do a word balloon. And I'll fix the word balloon. I'm getting tacos. And then I can also do an outline for that one too. But we'll do black outline this time. Okay. So that is the win state. We could also maybe just have this get textured so it looks more grassy, I guess. But then we can flatten. Do that. That's okay. Save it as win. And then in the game. When we win, we display the win image. So then that was somewhere. I'm going to have to collapse everything again. Draw win screen. That was the wrong button combination. 
Okay, I think, I think I literally just draw it. That's what I did with a different game. Game int. Draw the windscreen. Okay. And then they should just be able to hit uh, the A button to quit. So let me... Where's that little notes thing? I don't have game over text. Need to do the screenshot. You win poster art. Fix this crash. Um... If we get a game over, let's say, um, you end up having to take a mental health break. <clears throat> so you have to stay. late at work to catch up. Such is one's life. Okay. We'll test these out. I need an image of the game running as well. Let me open up the preview. Booble dooble. Somewhere. Previews. Okay, time for testing. Not that. Testing. So we'll... Oh, the thing is not showing up. Why is it not showing up? Oh, now it's showing up. Let's see. We can hear the audio, I think. So... Ah! <laughs> No, uh, boo. What's the keyboard buttons? No. Okay. Attack. No. It's okay. I probably need no. to add it. Animation. Wait, who has a quest person must be uh, with the same scream as like another one of the dudes? No! No. No. I don't know. No. Ooh. No, go away. No. No. Ooh. No. Okay, here it is. This okay. I might need to set this up so you can't. No. Oh, it's ghost. No. Um this allow quest from being generated in same place as non-quest NPC. Also attack animation. But really, I just want to be done with the game. I want to work on something else. We only hire rock stars. Ah, uh, get away. No. Ooh. No. Okay. I also still need to do, like, the performance test. But I just need to make sure things don't crash right now. Hello, have something. Yes. Tacos for lunch? Okay, so we delivered one. Hello, give me your mail. Oh, shoot. No. No. Uh, okay. Now, who has a quest? It moved around. Okay. No! no. Go away, ghost! No. There we go. Just mash the A button. Deliver that. Going down over here. Where are you? There you go. Okay, so that's three, right? Then they move, and then the new quest is generated. How about them sports teams? Uh, 
Yes, here you go. Wait, that was the fourth one, right? No. Ooh. Was it? No. I already delivered a thing for that guy. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna have to check the code. Okay, on second thought, this uh, code here isn't gonna work. <laughs> so I'll, I'll fix this. Actually, what I'll probably do is change this so that it's a more of a map. That's what I'll probably do. So I think it's under generate maze again. Where we created... I don't know. I have to look for it. So over here, we're not going to do a table insert. We'll just say self.deliver from list with the character's key is equal to... I mean, it can be literally anything, but let's just do chick character name. Because... That will then map over here. We'll be removing that key. I think that will be okay. Let's so debug table. Deliver from list. And we'll do self. Um, well, here, down here we'll do self. Not self. Debug log. Debug value. I don't know. Phase self phase. Um, let me double check. Debug log. Okay, so I'll test that out. Okay, so then deliver from list. I just delivered one, so now I have those items. I'm missing number three, which is one of the keys, so. Okay, but I just delivered for the imp, and now marketing vamp is back on there? Okay, am I... where am I assembling this? Okay, this get, keeps getting repopulated each time, so I actually need to only do this once at the start of the game. And not because everyone I call set up coworkers so they move around the map. So I just need it to be maybe here. Is this the setup function? Generate maze. I think it do it here. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. Okay, now that is decreasing correctly. So I can keep playing the game. Ah, no. ghosts. Ooh. No. Grab that. Technically, you don't have to look at the guy to take their mail. <laughs> no. But who cares? No. I guess if you're speed running it, you can just you know not look at them and then give it give it over. Okay. No. Wait. That's not right. Oh, I know. It's gonna. Well, so it's probably randomly choosing somebody to have mail to deliver. I could kind of leave this as is, and then technically once you've delivered at least one mail for every character, you're done. So then you don't know exactly how many mail you have to deliver. It could be as little as four. It could be more. I guess that's the RNG. So... Technically, we might go with this. Well, I'm gonna just keep testing. Okay, I've delivered quite a few pieces of mail and I haven't <laughs> depleted... I haven't delivered anything for the Overlord yet. So the RNG is not liking me right now. Come on, Overlord. No. We need... No. We need to deliver no. some mail. No. Get out of here, ghosts. Okay, are you the over- No! Why is there no overlord? 
Okay, I'm gonna have to check the code. <laughs> uh, maybe my random selection doesn't do it. Okay. One, to all of the characters. We set up the coworkers. Let's look at debug table characters. And math.random, is it inclusive in Lua? But it looks like the key for the overlord is number one. It's just not hitting one. Um, this is between X and Y. Roblox forum. I mean, so it doesn't allow us to choose the same person to give the thing to, but we can do debug log char a debug log char b and see i guess i'll go ahead and try to test getting killed no 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 let's see i can see who's being generated no. No. i don't think there's any reason why it wouldn't be number one no no just no happens to be unlucky. I mean, it's one in four. There we go. There's one. No. So here's the business no. owner wanting some mail. Or wanting to deliver mail. No. Okay, let's just do this no. since we got that. Yeah, get no. out of here, ghosts. No. Go away. Okay, I don't know how many dudes I've already delivered for. And it crashes! Okay. 640. I have a win image, don't I? Win. Self images win. Draw. What are you talking about? It's literally right there. I'll try again. Was that? Let's just test the game over first, so I don't have to play. <laughs> I have to go run into some ghosts. Please kill me. Let me know if it crashes the game. Ooh. Slowly. Ooh. All right. Let's see. Oh, for some reason it has a that I think this is gonna keep hitting me. No, the timer stopped. Okay. Okay, and you can go back. Okay. I do need to check that text. I accidentally did that. Do a little cry face. Okay. Now we'll test winning the game. Okay, now I'm having bad RNG again. My one in for chance of getting the last character to want to give mail is just not doing it. Oh, I think we got it now. Deliver for her. That should be the game over. Get out of here, ghost. No. Rawr. No. Okay. Ready? Are we gonna win? I hit the button the wrong time. What? What happened? I saw the screen. This doesn't usually happen, so I need to investigate. <laughs> okay, I accidentally skipped over it, but I did add a cooldown timer, so you can't immediately skip the win screen. Okay. 
So uh, okay. I also need a screenshot. So we'll just grab. No. Who's the best to no. show the game? I mean, maybe even the ghosts is. Oops, I could do that. Excuse me. Oh, okay. What's a good phrase, sir? Oop. There. That's perfect. Okay. In GIMP, we need the preview. Also, this needs to just be black and white. Um, crop. Can I just do indexed? No. Okay. Uh, grab that. Change it all to white. Grab that. Change it all to black. Did that not quite work? Are there different shades? Okay. Four down here. Our preview is very big. I should have grabbed that at default zoom. Make it easier. Okay, we grab this. Do that again. So we just need some amount, whatever. Let's see how big it is. So we'll scooch this down here. And maybe do that. Is that okay? Um, images. Previews. Okay, we're also going to set the game to start up where it's supposed to. Oh, also, I added it so you could walk while there's a ghost. But that's just for debug. Um, let's get rid of the debug text. Search. Debug. Okay. Main. Launch at the menu screen. Should just take us there. The layer mail. So. That looks good. I'm gonna make a commit. Uh, ready to test on hardware. So I got my play date right here. Badu. And I have some USB cables. Let's grab that and plug it into my hub. And we plug it in here, and then we need to tell the play date to boot so that it can be. Um... Oh, we have a system update too. I'll run the system update, that'll give me a chance to go use the bathroom. Applying system updates. There we go. And you'll notice I have some lovely dead pixels on the side. Which is why I put a wrist trap on it. Okay, so we need to set this to reboot to data disk in the settings. 
and then it's going to show up as a hard drive um, on the computer. And I have to remember how I do this. So basically every time I build it generates this thing, I think. Games. I don't remember if that actually works, so I'm just going to delete one of them. So inside of here, I need to also set up... Oh wait, there's oh, this one. Okay, so I have some information that I use when I'm testing it, but then in output.pdx I need to set up the info because it just kind of gives you the basics. So we'll do that. I also need to update that main screen because it says like eight games. Oh. So, in here, yeah, I just basically overwrite everything. Merge. I guess I could pause the recording, but this is this is uploading to the playdate. I'm just thinking if I'd be able to get it like uploaded today or if I should wait and do that next week so I can fix up any other things because it's already three o'clock. I mean, honestly, I can do my day job work on Saturday. <laughs> it's good that I got this work done because I've been wanting to and just not. Let me mark this in my day planner. It's currently 15 o'clock. So I've got a lot done. I'm also hungry now. And then we do the game test on the hardware. I have done, I think, a hardware test with the game, the, um, layer mail. Okay, so that's good. Now I eject it, so we should be good there. It's going to be kind of hard to show the game to the camera and not drop it. That's how I have problems. So for instance, Oh, it does say nine games, but it's going to have a picture of a skeleton at the moment if I release it and I don't update the little thingy ding. Um, and we can see layer mail is on the bottom, but again, I have dead pixels, so. Okay, so I can test this out. It looks cute. Um, let me, actually, I should do this so I can hear the audio. Help, that shows up. So I can test this out. Seems to work okay. I also, before I release, I try to do a full test of everything. Well, I guess I don't really like beat every level, but I do try to go into every level <laughs> to make sure like nothing is crashing. Okay, I can attack. Okay, I am experiencing slowdown when it goes between rooms, but I guess because it, I don't know. I mean, I'm rendering, oh, the screen shake also does not perform well, but I think I also do a blur at that point. So I guess technically like the blur is not very efficient. Let me just see how it feels overall. Okay, so
Uh, see, again, this is why I'm not going to put nine games in my next pack. Get out of the way, ghost. Yeah, the screen shake isn't so good. And the, the blur. I could remove the blur. Um, I think the screen shake is, is a separate. But it is quite noticeable. It's like everything slows down when you get hit. So don't get hit. Got HR Gorgon. We're gonna deliver it. Why is it so cold in the office? I mean, the battle system isn't very interesting. Get out of here, ghost. I haven't kept track of who I've delivered for yet. Let's see. It's dang ghosts. Who is messaging me now? Oh. Life. Life and work. Work in life. Well, I mean, if you want to see what it looks like, I'll, I can try to play it this way. <laughs> so I need to navigate into a direction. I think south. No. I do need some kind of feedback, but honestly, I just want to finish making the game. Okay, let me go this way. I'll probably get rid of the blur, because that is annoying. Yeah, if I don't finish it today, then if I do it next week, that'll at least give me more energy to, like, add an attack animation, because I... It doesn't feel good as it is without having like an attack animation. I'm just like mashing A and it's like, am I doing anything? Um, so that, I might do that. So we might pretty much be done for right now. Um, so I do these optimizations and increased design thing and beings. Um, yeah, because it's already three. I've been on it, doing this for a little bit. Okay, so. La plan for next time. We fix that crash. We definitely need an attack animation. I'm going to put remove blur from when you're hit. Um... That one, I did that. So, just some improvements. Um, I was thinking something else. I mean, if we're gonna clean things up, I would say create new preview thumbnail, which will take a little bit because I try to animate it. Um, could be nice to like make a trailer and actually put that on itch.io so that at least gives me some more time to make things better so that's this this will be for next week which is the 11th so okay can i style eat some more yes nice There we go. The plan for next week. I am done for now. I am going to go eat food. Maybe relax for a little bit and maybe get work done later. I don't know. So, well, now I have to splice the video footage together and then render it. 
and then upload it. But then I can eat. <laughs> so, have a good day.